Hello. Today we're going to learn how to internally time a slick 4300 series magneto. As the magnet rotates within the magneto, the magnetic flux flowing through the core changes in both direction and intensity. In order for the magneto to produce the hottest spark, we need to set the internal points to open when the change in flux flow through the core is at its greatest. This is called the E-gap position. Normally E-gap would be located when the magnetic poles are 90 degrees from the core. However, the magnetic field induced in the magneto coil interacts with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. This causes E-gap to shift approximately 10 degrees in the direction of magneto rotation. Therefore, we need to time the internal points to open approximately 10 degrees after neutral position. Magneto manufacturers will either publish a specific value for EGEP, or they will provide a tool which you can use to find the EGEP position. Let's start by disassembling the magneto according to the manufacturer's instructions, and then insert the EGEP gauge into the rotor slot. Now, the newer style magnetos have two slots, the left and right. This is a left turning magneto, so we insert it into the left slot. And then we rotate the rotor counterclockwise until the two will rest on the left core lamination. This means that the magneto is now at E-gap. Now that the magneto is in the E-gap position, we can set the internal point timing. First, connect your timing link to the magneto. Connect the black lead and one of the colored leads to the magneto frame. Connect the other color lead to the P-lead connection on the breaker point assembly. Next. Carefully loosen the adjusting screw on the breaker point assembly. This will allow you to move the breaker point assembly and change the time at which the breaker points open. We need to set the points to open with the magneto in its current position, EGEP. Watch while I demonstrate. Now we are ready to double check the timing. With the timing light attached, rotate the rotor back and forth slightly. The timing light should come on and off with little to no perceptible movement. If the timing is incorrect, reset it and try again. If the timing is correct, the magneto is ready to be reassembled and put back into service. When assembling, Take care that the rotor and the distributor gears are aligned properly. Thank you for watching, and have fun with your magnetos.